another common question or concern a lot of people have in high tunnels is what do you do about disease and pests? And of course, my philosophy comes back to the soil, more about improving that soil, the less problems you're gonna have. Of course, no one's perfect and you will have some problems. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what those are and what you can do about them. And John has the best experience with this tunnel and what he's um, found to be the best solution. So what would you say are your common problems and what you've done to mediate those? Well, the common problems change week to week. Mm -hmm. um, we are organic here, so we do use organic practices. We're not, uh, we're not using any kind of synthetic pesticides or anything like that to control disease or insects. Uh, we, do, we purchase and distribute beneficial insects in the tunnel every year, multiple times, depending on the need. Um, for insect problems, uh, we usually have some aphid populations that we control with ladybird beetles. Um, Occasionally we'll have some spider mites that will actually get in some beneficial um, predatory mites to go against. Uh, diseases, we try not to do much for diseases at all other than good air circulation and healthy mm -hmm. plants. Great. And do you ever find you have to use any sort of organic um, pesticides or soaps for um, dealing with a, an excessive problem? Or You know, if things catch me off guard, um, let's say we did have some aphids uh, the other spring that were um, they were in full force. They were probably more than introducing beneficials could actually take care of quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and we didn't want to lose that crop to them. So we did go in with some insecticidal soap, bring down the population to a certain level, then introduce beneficials and go from there.